When I talk to people who are not big sports or sports card fans and they learn that I am, one of their first questions is, who's your favorite player? And it's such a loaded question because I've enjoyed so many different players for many different reasons. There's the easy gathering of legends whose existence missed mine. There were those whose playing days ended before I was able to grasp what the game was all about. Then the class of players who provided so many amazing memories as I grew up watching them. I'm showing Hall of Famers, but there are so many others who didn't quite reach that status, yet I'm still a fan of. It was spring of 1988, and I took my first trip to Cooperstown to visit the Hall of Fame. The museum full of uniforms, historical artifacts, and the aura of baseball ghosts protecting the sanctity of the museum thoroughly impressed me. A quick throw from those hallowed halls were several sports memorabilia shops. The town was gearing up to welcome its newest member for the annual induction ceremony. After a 20-year career with the same franchise, Willie Stargell had received 82.4% of votes in his first year of eligibility. To pay tribute to the honor, one shop had a full vertical display case, I mean floor to ceiling, featuring every imaginable card of Willie Stargell in chronological order. And you could walk right up to the display case real up close and see every card from 1963 to 1983 of Topps. And they also had Donruss, Fleer, Stamps, Jello, Post, any kind of oddball stuff with his image on it. And I thought it was such a unique idea. It was something I wanted to steal for my own. So, going back to a favorite player. There was one individual who I was watching closely as he was starting to pile up some serious career numbers. Maybe it was the fact that he too remained with the same team, but number 19 of the Milwaukee Brewers found a way into my collection and has been a cornerstone of it for over 30 years. Robin Yao joined the Brewers franchise as a 19-year-old. Looking back at his accolades, his is an easy career to be a fan of. A member of the Hall of Fame, 3,000 hit club, and a two-time MVP. Since I began, I've acquired over 1,000 different collectibles of his. I'll be uploading a series of videos describing them in somewhat chronological order, just like Willie's were, and just like I try to keep them in my binders. Here's a preview. Base cards from the rookie year of 1975 going through 1984, more base and inserts finishing up the 80s, through his retirement, and up to the announcement of his Hall of Fame selection. Cards from his post-playing years full of numbered and different colored variations. Some reading material on stats, other players of the time, and more collectibles. Oddball galore with stuff they can't possibly fit into nine pocket pages. Then the real good stuff, autographs and game used relics. As you can see, I'm organizing yet again to remember exactly what I have and make sense of it all once show and tell time comes around. The series will be hitting the airways of this channel soon, so stay tuned.